Why play Wukong top? Well, he's a beast of a lane bully, he's very mobile for top laner, he brings great hard engage, and his ult brings a ton of AoE lockdown. However, he is on the squishy side, especially against magic damage, and he can fall behind if he's not able to bully. Wukong's passive gives him bonus armor and health regen. Each time you damage an enemy champion or monster, you gain additional armor and health regen, which can be stacked up to 10 times. Your Q is an auto attack reset, which deals additional damage and reduces their armor. The cooldown is reduced every time you damage an enemy. Your W is a dash, which which makes you invisible for one second and leaves behind a decoy clone. This clone can basic attack and will copy both your Q and ultimate dealing reduced damage. Also, with the changes to Wukong's W, you can now jump over walls like this one and this one and this one and many more. Your E is a targeted dash which can damage up to two additional enemies. This will give both you and your clone a large amount of attack speed. In addition, you can press your W or ultimate while dashing to use immediately when the dash ends. Finally, your ultimate causes you and your clone to spin. Every enemy hit will take damage continuously while inside the ultimate and is briefly knocked up. In addition, Wukong gets increased movement speed while ulting and the ult can be cast again within the next 8 seconds. For combos, your safest combo is to dash in with E then auto into Q then W on out. However, the more aggressive combo is to dash in with E use your W, then both you and your clone will auto attack into a Q reset on the target. For masteries, go for this, it lets you play like a bruiser. For build order, start blade and pot. Here, I'm a big fan of buying an early tier mat before getting Divine Sundra and tier 2 boots. Follow this up by buying any of these as you need, and then finish up by buying any of these. For skill order, start E, then Q, then W, before maxing Q, then E, then W, taking ult whenever you can. For summoners, take Flash and Ignite. TP is also good if you don't think you can kill your laner. There's not too much to say about Wukong's lane phase, except that you bully almost everything very well. Between your Q, your passive and conqueror, there's not much that wins in an extended fight. Firstly, keep spamming your enemies with Qs. They're annoying as hell. Look for opportunities to dash in, use your clone, and then auto attack into Q reset. After this initial burst of damage, keep brawling with them, throwing Q after Q, until they're forced back to the tower or dead. Usually, the only way this goes poorly is due to jungler intervention, so keep your wards up and be smart when bullying. Entering the mid game, you have the choice to split push or group up for fights. When split pushing, you'll usually be able to 1v1 anyone they send top. This means as long as your team is capable of fighting without you, there's a lot to gain by split pushing as this will keep their top behind, get you more pressure and objectives top, and your team will still be competitive. However, your ultimate and mobility makes you amazing in a team fight, so if you're looking to group, get your lane pushed and then join the team. Entering the late game, you should always be looking to join your team for team fights, where you can play one of several roles. Firstly, you have the ability to hard engage. Dashing in with E, throwing down a clone and ulting makes huge areas where people are going to be knocked up and forced to fight you. This is a very easy way for Wukong to force a fight. Otherwise, you can go for the assassin approach, where you E onto a carry, put down a clone, then double hit them with your Q before ulting, bursting them down quickly. This is often a good choice because very few things get away from your ultimate twice. Otherwise, if you've got a fed carry yourself, you can look to peel. Dash onto anything going for your carry and knock them up with your ult. Choosing the best role for you in a teamfight is absolutely game winning.